Joining me now to dig in from House Homeland Security, Congressman Michael Guest. Congressman, it's great to have you on the program tonight. Let me just jump into this, because the U.S. State Department is warning that U.S. citizens should be very careful or avoid traveling to Mexico altogether. Um, but the question that I have for you is, is is that the right approach to this? Is telling people not to go to Mexico uh, to protect them the right approach, or should the administration be putting pressure on the government right now to make things safer? Well, thank you for having me. And first, I want to express my condolences to the family of the two Americans who were killed uh, in Mexico. Uh, I think the events that transpired over the weekend uh, show the very dangerous conditions uh, that exist uh, along the southwest border. Uh, I believe that all Americans should take precautions, particularly precautions, any time that they leave the U.S. traveling just across the border, border because we see that our drug, the drug cartels have become emboldened. Uh, but whether it be human trafficking, uh, whether it be drug smuggling, and now violent attacks on Americans. No American should feel safe once they leave the United States. It's interesting, too, because it's not just a problem across the border when you're in Mexico, but we've got a huge border issue ourselves, Congressman, with people coming into this country illegally. We've got drug issues. We've got crime issues. Um, Peter Ducey asked Corrine Jean-Pierre about this. I just want you to listen and react on the other side. Cartels kill Americans on this side of the border with drugs, and now they're killing Americans on the other side of the border with guns. Why is President Biden so comfortable with cartels operating so close to the U.S.? Because of the work that this president has done, because of what we've done specifically on fentanyl at the border, it's at historic lows. Um, I'm a little confused by that answer. I, I imagine you would be, too. I'm not exactly sure what work the president has done. And as a matter of fact, there's more fentanyl coming into this country than ever. So can you make any sense of what she's trying to say? Well, and I would agree with your assessment. Uh, what we've seen now is along the border that the border has become a lawless society. I was in El Paso two weeks ago. I'll be in McAllen next week. Uh, every community that I've been in, as I've talked to law enforcement agents, elected officials, they'll tell you, to tell you two things. One, that the border is the worst that they've ever seen it in their lifetime, and they feel that the federal government has abandoned them. Uh, all Americans should be extremely concerned with the conditions that we've seen across the border, and we now we see that Americans have been killed, uh, and it appears that those killings are likely to have been at the hands of drug cartels. Congressman, at this point, uh, now that the situation has escalated, should the cartels be considered terrorists? I think that that should something that, 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 that Congress uh, should very uh, very carefully look at uh, if we want to look at uh, addressing these uh, national trans, these transnational drug cartels uh, as terrorist, terrorist organizations to uh, give us the ability to go after these cartels. We've seen the damage the cartels have caused by smuggling fentanyl in the country. We've seen the the treatment that the drug cartels uh, have inflicted upon individuals trying to come in the country, uh, and now we see that potentially drug cartels have killed kidnapped four Americans and killed two others uh, that entered Mexico for an elective drug treatment. Uh, all Americans should be concerned with the lawlessness that we have seen across the border. This administration has done nothing to address the problem, and this administration should be held accountable. You started by expressing uh, your sadness and, and your compassion for the victims and their families. I want to read something from one of the sisters of the victim, uh, Zindel Brown, one of the victims speaking out now. She said this, quote, this is like a bad dream you wish you could wake up from to see a member of your family thrown in the back of a truck and dragged. It's just unbelievable. Um, to think in 2023 that Americans watch this video and live in fear, whether they're traveling into Mexico or they live in a border state or, frankly, they live anywhere else because a lot of that crime has come into our own country. How can you tell Americans um, that they're safe right now? You know, what I can tell Americans is that Republicans understand that this is a problem. Um, uh, Republicans are prepared to address this problem. Uh, within the next two weeks, Republicans will introduce a border bill uh, that will increase, include increased law enforcement agents, increased technology uh, that will deal with our broken asylum process, and that this is a problem that Republicans have been talking about for two years. I'm glad to see that the administration is finally waking up and they're finally paying attention. But under, under this administration, we've seen 
record years back to back of illegal immigrants coming into the country. Uh, we're on pace to break that record once again. Uh, we've seen that the leading cause of death for Americans 18 to 45 is drug doses, uh, drug overdoses, many of those fentanyl related. And now we've seen violent attacks in our border communities. All Americans should be concerned. If we don't stop this at the border, it will be in every backyard before we know it. Final question, Congressman. Um, President Biden, you say he's woken up a little bit. He's a bit, little bit more aware. But we still have a huge problem on our hands that we did not have before. Do you think he'll crack down on the border? I hope so, uh, and, and that's the intent. I, I hope that he will uh, address the border. I know Republicans will address the border. I know we're going to introduce legislation. We're going to be talking about this, and either the president's going to work with Republicans and we're going to secure the border, or the blood of all the Americans are going to be on the hands of this president. Congressman Michael Guest, thank you so much. Good to see you tonight.